when we came into India three years back, we come with a huge experience of rolled out a product like this in Kenya. Sub-Saharan Africa is where we operate in a very big way today. Out of the 200 plus mobile money deployments across the world, Vodafone today runs the top three. So that really gives us a lot of experience and expertise in this space and whether they are solutions of what we work with water health or whether they are individual solutions of person to person transfers, we have done a lot of that in Africa. So if you see over here, once non-banks were allowed to launch payments in African region, 77% of Kenyan adults today have a digital account. It is a proven fact that today in Africa there are more mobile accounts than bank accounts. Uh, if you look at M-Pesa, we launched it in Kenya in 2006, today we are present in 10 countries. And it's become a way of life. Over there, 77% of the adult population actually using M-Pesa as a banking proposition. So it's basically become the banking infrastructure in the country. When we look at our country and we see what is the application of it, today we talk about the banking uh, branch network. So we are talking about give and take a few about 100,000 bank branches across all banks put together. But when we go to rural India, there is only 5% penetration into rural India of actual bank branches. And that is where we feel that we have a strong role to play. Uh, again, when we go to rural India, we clearly see that a bank branch is on the average 10 to 15 kilometers away from a bank, uh, from a village. So that, that puts a huge challenge. So when you are even sending money home to a bank branch, People have to traverse a long distance, maybe on foot, uh, you know, maybe there is a public transport available to even access their accounts. So financial inclusion becomes a myth in that case because the accessibility to your account is just not there. And that is where we feel mobile can play a big role. So today we have 90,000 outlets on a pan-India basis. So if we compare it to the banking infrastructure, we alone have 90,000 outlets. But the critical part is our, our penetration into rural India. 60% plus out of our outlets are today sitting in rural India, which is where we give the capability of people to go and give cash over there and digitize the cash. We have a huge ability to scale up. As Vodafone, we have around 1.8 million outlets. So our ability to scale up and build a branch life model is very clearly there and demonstrated. Uh, when we look at the government payments, when we look at you know various subsidy distributions, Vodafone M-Pesa has been actually one of the first mobile wallets to actually pioneer government subsidy distribution. Be it national rural health mission funds, be it Narega funds, we have actually taken money to the last mile by having the government send the funds into a mobile wallet and then creating a physical infrastructure where people can go out and cash out. And that is what we talk about. The government gets increased transparency, whether it is enterprise or government, that is how we are enabling last mile movement of money. And clearly there is huge amount of transparency, we can give reports, we can show which wallets have received funds, we can even track when people have withdrawn money out of the wallets. And clearly there is speed of delivery because the money transfer is real time online. If you look at the business solutions from M-Pesa, it, it, it straddles a huge bit. Now wherever we are talking about companies which are basically collecting cash, Lot of trade, as I said today, is still happening in cash. While we do know that checks and electronic means are gaining, but cash is a huge dominant component of our economy. So there are clear industries which today are running on cash, be it dairy, be it you know clean water distribution, as the case we'll talk about later, where the company is actually collecting cash and moving cash from point to point is a huge cost. And that is where M-Pesa becomes a very strong solution. Because we have a distributed retail network where people can actually go give cash, convert it into digital money and transfer it directly into the central account of a corporate. Saving a lot of time in moving cash which has issues around it, around, around basically looting of cash, insurance of cash, the cost involved in moving cash from point to point, all, all those issues go away. Similarly, payroll and disbursements, a lot of the industries today still pay their people in the form of cash. Uh, there is uh, reimbursements being done in the form of cash. Now, how do you how do you kill that cycle? So we are again talking about the fact that a bank a corporate can actually, like a government, send money directly into wallets, and people can take money out at proximate and pesa outlets. And these solutions have worked very well in the microfinance industry, where you are doing micro distribution of loans. Likewise, when you have to do small value payments, and pesa becomes a very very critical tool over there. 
So I will, I will sort of list it out to say that how do we power last mile financial inclusion. So clearly as we see it, every household today owns a mobile. So if you look at the penetration of mobile, every household today has the ability to basically get banking services accessible to them in the form of having them on a mobile. So there is complete elimination of all intermediaries and middlemen because whoever is sending money or receiving money can do it directly. So you become very on the ground. We can't wish away cash. Banking services, as you've seen the paper which was set out by the government, to have a stationary business correspondent within 5 kilometer radius of, of any village. So that is really what, what it means. And last but not the least, as we move on our journey, we clearly see there is a huge play also to see where all digital money can get accepted. Because the idea is not to say move money from point to point and put cash into digital form and then they again take it out in the form of cash. So how can we use digital money, whether it is for payment of electricity, for bills, various things. And that is where we are talking about digitization and creating of an ecosystem where n pesa can be accepted as a currency. So likewise to the customer we have started offering different ways of utilizing n pesa. Earlier we had introduced the entire proposition on a single channel called USSD, which basically works across all phones. But it is having limitations in terms of user experience and interface. Today we are introducing other channels which actually make the experience far more enhanced. Everybody over here I am sure is using smartphones, is using multiple apps in terms of payments. m -Pesa is now available as a payment app. m -Pesa is now available on web portals. So you can do all these transactions on the web. You can do them on a payment app on the, on the phone. So that is where the experience enhances and we want to reach out to as wide a cross section of consumers as possible. So closing it by saying a quote by Bill Gates and the growth in the economy. Thank you very much.